everybody, Dr. Sam here, and today we're going to be talking about healthy kids, healthy families, and how that leads to a healthy community, and how my community here at SJL Wellness, we are a 70% of my clients are on a wellness-based regimen. And you're probably wondering like, well, what's wellness-based? Um, that goes into the fact that you know, someone might have come in with like an issue or a symptom or looking for something to get taken care of and now they've transitioned into wellness care which might which means that they come on a continual basis or I have people that are just looking for their body to reach a higher level of health potential and they want to get on wellness care. They want to be like, I want part of this chiropractic care that I've heard so many great things about and how people have been able to boost, you know, their energy levels, decrease the amount of stress or how their body is able to adapt to stress and they're able just to move through their life a little bit better, a little bit smoother and just functioning at a higher level. Um, I've had quite a few and I sent out this question to a lot of, a lot of my clients and I was like, why do you keep coming? What's the deal? Because there is always the joke of, oh my God, the second you go to a chiropractor, you always have to go. My clients have said, why wouldn't you want to? Because they have noticed such the amazing effects and benefits of continued chiropractic care they that they want to keep that going. And I honestly have said, I just feel like my potential just keeps getting more and more and more. And the cool thing about that is these are coming from parents. These are coming from parents that have big families, little families, busy jobs, <clears throat> and they have just noticed I am able to keep my calm better. I'm able to have more energy for my family. So like whenever I get home from work, I have a little bit more energy to put towards my family. I feel like I'm just functioning like more on like all cylinders is another one that someone else had said. Another um, realm of people that I enjoy like hearing from and working with because this is what our amazing community of Lincoln is made of is small business owners and entrepreneurs. It is a stressful job and like, yeah, we take it on as being a small business owner. We knew what we were signing up for, but it's almost just like something might be coming at you from 10 different angles. And what my business owners and my entrepreneurs have said is like their ability to stay better, you know, higher function, more attention, more focus, more drive, more energy that they are experiencing within themselves, they are then able to put into their business, which therefore their business is flourishing and doing better. So then therefore our community is actually doing better than too. And so those are two kind of really neat groups of people that I wanted to talk about that are, you know, maybe a little bit different that people aren't generally thinking about, but then also like the kiddos, you guys know, I love kids and love working with kids and what my parents have said of the young kids that are going through chiropractic care and they've been through like that restorative care that we'll talk about, um, which they have come in for something and it's gotten taken care of, they continue on, is that their kid, they had now noticed like in school, they're able to keep up better. Homework's going better. Grades are better. Their attention and focus and therefore getting homework done so there isn't a fight and a battle with that, then that the kid is then able to go and do more, you know, like with their sports or with their instruments or with, with their friends or whatnot. But like they just notice a, such an increase in productivity within their children that that's what parents are loving and also that the kids are loving. You know, then there's not so much of a battle at home of do your homework, do this, do that. They want to get it done so that they know they can move on to the next thing. And then also on that, we always have the academic side, but then like the um, sports side, some of the things have been said, hey, like my kiddo, they're able to just stay ahead of the game a little bit better. They're able to, you know, have a better drive with like their athleticism and like keeping up their bodies, adapting their bodies, changing their bodies, healing better. That's just another thing that they've just noticed is just like the sports performance has increased for their kiddos. And it's a highly um, competitive world out there. So that's just kind of a neat thing that parents have come up with and said, like, I just feel like, you know, little miss or little mister is doing so much better on their acad I mean, athletic performance as well, which is then a good thing for the mind and the body, the good mind body connection. And then just mentally it's good for kiddos too. Um, and so another thing, whenever I had reached out to all my wellness based patients, I was like, so what's another reason? And they say that they have noticed a decrease in stress or at least their ability to adapt to stress has increased drastically. Once again, none of us are going to escape this life without stress, but our ability to adapt to it is huge and vital. Because if you let a stress and let stress is just continuously like bulldoze and bulldoze and build and build and build, we eventually come overwhelmed and we all hit a breaking point. 
and that's not good. But if you're able to have your nervous system functioning optimally and able to adapt to those stresses better, and we'll get into that, that buildup might then take a lot more time to build up or it's going to build up and you're able to wean, wean it back down. So the ability, like I say, to feel like you have less stress because your body's able to adapt to it better, that is awesome. And then the last thing I wanted to touch base on is like why families continue on with like their wellness care is, oh my gosh, our boot, like we're not sick as much. We don't get sick anymore, like with the viruses and the bugs and the flus and stuff like that. Like we, if we do get sick, we bounce back so much better, so much quicker, and we heal quicker. But we don't have that rounds and rounds of all of us having to go to the doctor because we're just passing whatever's going around at the time, around and around and around. So way less sickness. And so like a cool little tidbit on that is chiropractic actually, actually can boost your immune system up by 200%. Who on this lovely God's green earth would not want that? I think everybody would want that. So the next time some major flu bug or something comes around, your family's ready to fight it off just because their nervous system is hitting, hitting harder and crushing it and getting rid of all that gunk and whatnot. <clears throat> so, woo, sorry about that, my camera. So now we're gonna go diving into, like now I talked about what my clients have said, now we're gonna go diving into wellness. It's kind of, okay, sorry about that, we're back. And so, Talking about wellness and how much of a buzzword it is right now. When I was a kid, you never heard of wellness. South Central Nebraska farm girl? No, wellness what? Um, but now it's become a big thing lately and it's really, really, really cool to see because now people want to take the things, take their health, take their life, take you know everything that goes on with them and they want to take action in it. They want to be part of it. They want to be proactive excuse me proactive versus reactive and so some of the things though with wellness is that it's all coming from the outside in so when i talk about that excuse me so when i talk about that outside in clean eating you know we've never seen so much organic stuff in our lives and it's awesome um clean eating increased water intake meditation prayer going to a mental health therapist and then lastly physical exercise I don't think back whenever, you know, 30 years ago when I was a young little kiddo that we actually went out and would want to exercise without it being like a PE class. But now you see people in gyms are full right now. Yoga, Pilates, Pilates, um, these cool hit gyms, cycling. It's so cool how many people are just finding their niche and what they love. And no one should judge anyone for what they do. They're moving their body and they're staying active. And that's part of their whole wellness realm. And they have it and they have it going on. And it's awesome. And it's all coming from the outside in. Now, with that being said, chiropractic, we focus on the inside and expressing out. So you can do all of those things and that helps our body immensely. But if there's part of us, which is our nervous system, which we all have, is stressed, even though we think that we're you know, able to adapt to all the stresses that come at us, maybe we aren't in a way that then the healthy eating, the, you know, the mental health and the physical health is able to be utilized in our body as it should. Does that make sense? So our nervous system is in there and maybe there's something that is still causing it to have its issues, causing it to be stressed, causing you know our stress response to be kicked on more because I think we all are, even though we are all meditating and we're doing yoga and we're stretching and we're breathing and we're eating right. We can all do those things, but sometimes we have that mechanism within us called our sympathetic nervous system that is maybe just too kicked on that it doesn't matter how many salads you eat or how many miles you run or how much meditation you do, it can't help and it can't slow down and it can't take those good, awesome wellness traits that you're doing to your body and utilizing them the way that you wish and the way that you had hoped for. So you see a lot of people that like, man, they are doing everything perfectly right. And I've had them in this room and I've had them in this consultation room before. They are doing everything perfectly right to the T, but they still feel fatigued. They still get headaches. They're still tired. They're still, you know, aggravated or have a short fuse. That lets me know that there's been a missing link in the whole wellness regimen that people are trying to um, attain. And that's where chiropractic comes in. 
Now let me explain this. So chiropractic wellness, yes, we have restorative care. And by restorative care, let me just go into that and we'll come back to chiropractic wellness. Many clients start out in restorative care. And what do I mean by restorative care? There's something we need to restore. There's something within their child, within themselves, or within a loved one that the body just isn't functioning quite right, <clears throat> quite right and they're showing and they're presenting with a symptom or an issue. Some of those things with infants, we'll start with infants there. Colic, reflux, nursing issues. If the nursing issue, if there's nursing issues, those kiddos and those little babies are not getting the proper nutrients that they need to allow for growth and development. So you'll hear some kiddos like, oh, they're, you know, they're on the bottom percentile. That's okay. That's maybe just how they are. But a lot of times the nutrition that they're supposed to be getting from nursing or from feeding isn't happening. So there's something going on there. Mom and dad are like, okay, this isn't quite right. <clears throat> we have our toddlers. Toddlers are gonna experience constipation, ear infections, croup, reduced, uh, and like tantrums. I shouldn't say reduced tantrums, but they're gonna experience these tantrums. That's just their little body's way of like expressing the stress that's going on within their body. I talk a lot about stress and stress is the number one cause of all sorts of issues. And so if they're stressed and you're like, a little kid's stressed out, come on. We've, if you've watched my videos, that goes all the way back to the pregnancy, that goes to labor and delivery, that goes to how, you know, how's the household functioning now. Kids take on and soak up stress as well. So even though they aren't having to worry about mortgages, mortgages and bills and work deadlines and putting food on the table, they have stresses within their own little body. Um, kiddos, you know, those, you know, younger kiddos, they're going to experience allergies, asthma, bedwetting. Focus and attention issues, you know, you start to notice behavior issues as they start to get into class. They're no longer like a toddler and like in the preschools and stuff, but they're working their way into kindergarten and all the way up, you know, into the teen years. And you're going to notice some of those behavioral issues coming up. ADHD, um, sensory challenges, which there's going to be so many videos on these things that you guys can watch. Teens, hey, teenagers, we notice behavior issues, mood swings, woo! Um, balancing hormones, understanding like how their body is changing and adapting. It can all be very, very stressful on them. And parents bring them in, you know, bring them in and be like, oh my gosh, like their mood swings, anxiety, depression within these teens and kids. That is something that is just letting us know, hey, like our body's crying for help with each of these. It's restorative care. Your body's sending out a signal crying for help that like something just isn't functioning quite right. And so adults, we'll get into adults as well. They come in with stress. They come in with mood, anxiety, focus. They want, to fo they want more focus and attention. They want calmness within their body. Most of the time this manifests as pain. Um, we'll get into like symptoms and pain. That's actually the last thing to show up. There's been a whole host of dysfunction going on within the body even before symptoms show up. That's why people are like, oh my gosh, like my back just went out like that one day. Sorry, hate to tell you, no it didn't. Something's been triggering you or telling you for many, many, many months, many weeks, many years even, and now that was the last straw that broke the camel's back. So it's something that cries from the body are actually saying, hey, help, like something's not quite functioning right in here. And when that's going on, it's just going to cause more stress within that body because we all think stress is coming from the outside, which most of it is, but within like a physical ailment, it's a constant stress that's there that the, you might not be paying attention to today, but your subconscious mind and your body is feeling it and having to put up with it every single day. You might feel like, oh, I have control over my anxiety and depression today. It's one of those things that it stays there and it sticks with us. All of those that have suffered with that, we know. It likes to linger on. It's a day-to-day -day thing. So even though one day might be good, that stress is still within that body, building up within that body. And so the more stressed our body becomes, the more overwhelmed we feel, and that's whenever things, really like those symptoms and all those things start to show up. Um, so with that, so like that's the restorative care that I wanted to talk about. So we get people in and they get restored and their health gets restored and now they wanna move on to wellness because they've seen the effects. So. When I talk about chiropractic wellness, what I'm pretty much talking about to sum it all up is adaptability. Our body's ability to adapt to all of life's stressors. And none of us, excuse me, none of us are gonna make it out of this great, holy, wonderful life without stress. We're all gonna have it in different forms. But have you ever noticed some people are able to adapt to stress better than others? 
I for one suffered with this for a long time and wasn't adapting to stress very well. And I had a whole host of physical and mental ailments that manifested out of my body and was like, get it together woman, like your body and your nervous system stressed out. And it's like even myself as a chiropractor, I had been, I started care when I was 12 years old from a gymnastics injury. Thank you, Dr. Doherty. Um, but from there on, I have maintained wellness care. I, for myself, a few years went through a highly stressed, highly hectic time in my life. My body then was having to react and adapt to more stress, but I continued on my maintenance wellness care with a whole host of new stressors. And I'm talking mental, physical, financial, everything. And I didn't sit there to think that maybe I'm back in a restorative phase of care and that maybe I should increase my care load of myself. And here I was as a chiropractor, not even like, I do all this for my patients, they're doing fantastic, and there I was like struggling getting by. It's like, I get it, I want you to know, we're all not perfect. I meet people where they're at, and that's okay. Don't beat yourself up over this. Beating yourself up in guilt is not part of a wellness plan. Don't do that. Um, so, like I say, wellness, chiropractic wellness is our ability to adapt, adapting from the inside. Stress as adults, like I say, is different than stress as kids, but we all experience stress and stress is different for everyone. And once again, it's inevitable. But health, whenever we think about health and wellness, health equals the most adaptive state your body can be in. You then have, let's say before you're only able to juggle, you know, five different balls and that was work, kids, um, business deadlines, an ailing parrot and this, and you're gonna be able to juggle them and you're doing fine. And then another ball gets thrown at you and that just causes everything just to fall apart. But now with more health and more adaptability to stress within your life, you might be able to juggle 10 of them. Does that make sense? It's like your body's ability to adapt to stress and adaptability is ultimate wellness. Um, adaptability is your body's ability to once again to overcome stress Illness and dysfunction is showing that your body is not adapting to stress. And it's going, nope, something's going on in here. I can't handle it, can't take it. So one person's like, well, how do I know if my body is adapting or not? We live so many times in a maladaptive state for so long, that's how good our body is at trying to heal, trying to regulate. But then at one point it becomes so overwhelmed that that's when it shows symptoms. How many of us have experienced and expressed symptoms? If there isn't a hand that doesn't raise right now, you're a liar. <laughs> Just kidding, but you're probably lying. But when our body becomes overstressed, overwhelmed, overstimulated, we all have a bucket and some, or a fuse. I'm gonna use a fuse. We all have a fuse. And some of us, my fuse, when I was younger, you can ask my parents, it's kind of some red hair little German in this little body, but my fuse when I was younger was so much shorter and like just quicker to temper, quicker, quicker to reaction, quicker to everything. We all might know somebody like that within our life. That might be showing that their body and like their ability to adapt to their stressors has maybe met its limit and therefore it's that person's nervous system is just overworked, overstimulated and constantly stuck in that fight or flight high stressed mode. What we start to notice with that then is there's this another part of our lovely nervous system that it helps us to adapt and helps us to come back down and be into a rest, relax, digest, growth, calm, development, all of these other things. We have another mode of our body that adapts and does that. But if we are locked so much into that stress response, this over here cannot happen. And that's where chiropractic comes in. We have our stress sympathetic nervous system. You can Google that, sympathetic. And we have our parasympathetic. Both can't be on at the same time. One can only be on and the other one shut off and vice versa. So if we are locked in a constant state of stress, whether we are still doing all of our wellness stuff, our eating right, our exercising, and our meditating and prayer, if our body's still stuck in that fight or flight and that stress response, even subconsciously, our nervous system's going to overflow, symptoms then are going to show up, ailments are going to happen. 
So as chiropractors, we're able to go in there. We have awesome neurological scans that allow us to know how this person's body is adapting to stress, where they are at on that whole you know pendulum, and help them to educate them to get them to a point of that rest, digest, healing, able to adapt at things much better that come throwing and come barreling into their lives. I hope this is making some sense for you guys. Um, chiropractic is not about chasing symptoms. Um, many of us, you know, stress, like I say, is the ultimate cause of many of the things that go on within our bodies and within our healthcare system. And all of these symptoms that come about, most doctors, most, most medical professionals, other than chiropractors, look at the symptoms. Okay, you got acid reflux, here's this. Okay, that's gonna take care of the acid reflux, but why does it ever, never go away? The second you stop taking what you need for the acid reflux, or the, you know, digestion issues, the constipation, or the, you know, all these other symptoms that we hear, oh my God, all the commercials that you hear of medications, Sure, you're taking care of the symptom, but the second you stop taking that medication or that whatever, the the problem's still there. Does that make sense? Like everybody's like, well, you have to be on this pill the rest of your life. Yeah, you probably will. But as chiropractors, we don't chase the symptoms. We look at it completely different. Chiropractors, we are then looking for what is causing this said symptom. So if you find a leak in your wall, and a plumber comes in and they just put tape over it and say, okay, it's good. Three weeks later, it's leaking again, another piece of tape. Okay, that's good. That's what most doctors do. But as chiropractors, we're gonna walk in, or a chiropractic plumber, <laughs> whatever you wanna say that, they're gonna walk in and they're like, well, let's trace this back and find where this leak is coming from and fix the leak. Once you take care of the leak, the actual, where it's at, the issue with like the leak coming through the wall isn't gonna be there anymore because you've taken care of the root cause. And that's what we do as chiropractors. We find the root cause within that body. Why is that happening? This is all done through neurology. The nervous system controls and coordinates every human function in the entire body. And as chiropractors, we are able to find that area that is being you know, maladaptive and not functioning as it should. We find it we fix it and we let your body do the healing that it needs and knows how to do. We just implement it. And so that's how chiropractic looks at the body and looks at things in a totally different fashion. And that's how the clients that I have that are on my wellness-based plans, they have been, oh man, like I didn't even realize that I could feel this good. I didn't know that my symptoms were coming from something related to the neurology that then comes there out of my spine and is connected to my brain. I had no idea. I didn't know that, you know, like I could be adapting to stress so much better in my life and be able to be a better mother, a better father, a better husband, a better wife, a better kid, a better business owner, because my body has now taken those other stresses and my chiropractor has found where those are alleviated that stress within the body so now my body can utilize all of the things that I'm doing for myself and my wellness and it's able to utilize everything I'm doing and allow my body to function optimally and to its utmost potential. So I know that's a lot, but I just wanted to share with you how and you know how my patients are wellness-based patients and I love every single one of them. I love every single patient that I have, but the, we are seeing in our society such a huge shift in people wanting to take back their take back their care take back like their control of their care i think people are kind of getting frustrated and tired of like almost chasing their tail around like their health and what's going on um because a lot of times they might be told like oh this is your diagnosis this is what it is but then they're not given a reason why my first reason would be like well why is my body reacting that way or why is my body doing that why did i develop you know acid reflux why did I develop Crohn's disease why is my pancreas not firing as it should like why what happened I don't get it I don't understand and people now more than ever are just wanting to take back control of their health and their wellness and their life and I give everybody like 80 high fives for that that is exciting and that is awesome and they want answers and they want results and that's my whole platform is providing answers delivering hope because I feel like some people become completely hopeless and they're given like a diagnosis or a reason or something like that. Don't stop people. Keep 
going. Get and like, come to me, message me. I will help find you the answers that maybe you're still looking for, the hope that you need that maybe this isn't the last resort. Um, chiropractic, I, you know, that's my goal is like not to let chiropractic be the last resort, but maybe the first for a lot more people. And delivering results, like let's get you the results that you want, that you deserve and that you need and that you like are yearning for because you're doing all of these things with the wellness that everyone's doing right now, like eating, exercising, and you know, mental health. Let's give you that missing link so all that can come together and just be an amazing, happy marriage for you. So, want to share with you on that. Let's help Lincoln become amazingly healthy, have healthy kiddos, healthy families, and a healthy community. And we can flourish together and we can thrive together versus just surviving. And I'm all about thriving over here. So, um, if you have any questions, DM me. Um, my email is sjlwellness at gmail.com. Phone number is 402-432-7702. And I'd love to hear from y'all and have a great day.